Hello everybody, my name is Claire Danielson and I'm a medical laboratory scientist. And today I'm here to show you a little bit around the clinical laboratory and give you guys a little bit of a day in the life of some of the things that you might do if you work in a clinical laboratory. So the department that we're here in first is a microbiology department. Normally the microbiology department is separate from the rest of the lab. You're kind of in your own little bubble back here. And essentially what happens back here is we receive specimens from doctors that collect swabs, urine, um, blood sometimes that um, may be infected with some type of bacteria or virus. So <clears throat> we receive swabs like this um, that may, you know, you may have a wound or an inf infection somewhere and we put them on these plates called auger plates and the bacteria will grow on these auger plates. And then in 24 hours, <clears throat> this is similar to what it may look like if there is growth. This is actually a Klebsiella pneumoniae. This is from a um, urine culture actually. So once the bacteria has grown, we do a series of tests on that bacteria to identify the bacteria. And then we <clears throat> also come up with an antimicrobial susceptibility pattern for the doctor so that the doctor knows what antibi antibiotics you can be treated with. So in addition to all kinds of different cultures, like I said, we also collect blood. We put them in these little bottles like this. And then we put them into analyzers that look like this. And this analyzer reads the bottom of the bottles um, every so often, and it will record a color change, which indicates if bacteria is present or not. Another cool area in here is our incubator. This is where we put our plates once they've been streaked. This just essentially grows the bacteria so that we can identify it if it's there. Another place that you may work in the microbiology department is under one of these biosafety cabinets. This is where um, we do some of our molecular testing under here. Um, this instrument right here is called a microscan, and this is what will help identify bacteria for us as well. And there's a series of other tests that we'll do at the bench that will help identify the bacteria as well. So if you are somebody who likes hands-on and likes working with bacteria, um, this might be a good department for you. This department right here is blood bank. This is a department that's very important to the hospital. We provide blood to patients that come through the emergency room or that need it during surgery, surgical procedures. So in this department, we do type um, antibody, we do blood types, antibody screens, antigen typing, um, prepare plasmapheresis units, all kinds of different stuff in here. This is some of the instrumentation that you'll see. So just a little look at what some of the cards look like. So this blood type right here, um, this would give a front type right here and a front type this way. This just shows the blood that's in the card. This is our blood refrigerator right here. So we keep all of our units in here. So we receive our blood from a central blood donation center in the Upper Peninsula, but we get our blood and store it in these refrigerators. And up on top here, You'll see all kinds of units that are ready for patients that may be receiving them later. So that's pretty much the blood bank. It's just working with blood and making sure that the right, the patient gets the right blood type that they need. This department or this area right oh, here no. is where we do urinalysis. So we receive urine in cups like this. We put them on analyzers like this, spin them down and then have to look at them on the microscope to determine if the patient might have a urinary tract infection. <laughs> or if there's some other crystals, um, casts, some other things going on that might be making the patient sick. And if you come down here a little bit further, this is some of the serology testing or kit testing that clinical labs have. So there's some serum pregnancy tests, there's flu, HIV one and two, H. pylori, and some rapid strep tests. So if you ever have had your throat swab like that and they tell you that your strep is negative or positive, it might be done on one of these kit tests right here. So this is serology. Um, these are all pretty easy tests to do. You'll just put a little bit of serum or whole blood depending on the sample, maybe a swab. Wait a couple minutes and look, look for the results. Right, this is the chemistry department. So whenever you're working in a chemistry department, you're normally working with some big analyzers like this one. This is the Ar Abbott Architect. So it can run all kinds of samples. There's two different sides to it, so each side runs different types of tests. Um, we receive, we draw blood, spin it down so it separates it from the serum and the red cells. We put it on these analyzers and it will give us, essentially it will give us the result. So this is 
typically you're going to look at your electrolytes or your um, hepatic function, liver function. CMP is a complete metabolic panel. So looking at various types of analytes, um, it can run all kinds of drug tests on here as well. Um, and you can validate it to run all kinds of different things. Um, this is a pretty complex department, but um, it's also a really fun department to be in when you're working in the clinical lab. This is the coagulation analyzer right here. So inside you'll see a couple different things. Essentially this analyzer is looking at patients' ability to be able to stop bleeding and um, create a clot. So, and it also looks at different anticoagulation therapies that might help that patient. It's a pretty simple analyzer. We um, don't normally have a lot of issues in this department, pretty straightforward. And then as we kind of work our way this way, this is our hematology department. So this is looking at red cells and white cells of your blood. And on here, I have an image pulled up of some, um, somebody's red, or excuse me, um, smear. So these are all red cells right here. And this guy right here is just a white cell. So depending on what those red cells or white cells look like, it will help a doctor diagnose a patient with some type of illness, um, decide what type of treatment they might need, if they have any type of anemia, um, what their cancer cells might look like, um, what bone marrow might look like. We spend a lot of time on microscopes in the hematology department. So if you like looking at microscopes, this would be a really good department for you to sp um, spend some time in. And if we move down here, this analyzer actually gives us a scattergram or a plot of what all of the red cells and white cells look like. So you, you get familiar of um, reading these, but it basically gives you all the values of the white cell, the red cell, and then it basically paints a picture for the doctor to see what is wrong with that patient. This instrument right here, this is a biofire, and this is an instrument that we would typically see in the microbiology department. There are all kinds of or excuse me, molecular analyzers. But this is one that's pretty popular and it will run a series of different tests. So this one, for example, is looking for a bunch of different viruses. So it's going to look at look for adenovirus, uh, the coronavirus, SARS-2, COVID-2, um, metanumovirus, the flu, um, parainfluenza, RSV, Bordetella pertussis, some different types of bacteria. And we can run different panels on this, um, such as stool, respiratory samples and also blood and this test takes about an hour to do and it's very accurate so this is just another area of the lab that you might spend some time in molecular um, while you're working alongside of microbiology and the last area that i wanted to show you guys is a phlebotomy room and this is probably the room that you guys are most familiar with if you've ever had your blood drawn you probably have had to sit in a chair like this typically hospitals that are smaller might not have phlebotomists so you as med tech might have to do the blood draws yourself in larger hospitals, they might have some phlebotomists that are strictly um, for blood drawing, but it just depends on where you where you end up working. So it's always good to be able to draw blood as well. So that's something to keep in mind. If you notice all these different color tubes, each color tube will run different types of tests. So as um, as you learn about phlebotomy at Michigan Tech, we'll go through what all these different colors mean and what all the tests that can be run on each one of these tubes you'll actually be able to draw some blood as well. I wanna thank you guys for following me around the clinical lab today and learning a little bit more about the profession. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you might have about your time on campus, what classes you might be taking, or any other questions about the degree in general. If you are someone that loves problem solving, the medical field, and also never wants to be bored, medical laboratory science might be the degree for you. Please stay tuned for a question and answer session that is coming soon after the video. Thanks.